has shown itself to be very successful. And now we're just adding to that excitement by bringing you something a little bit different. These are Valerie's nine inch illuminated harvest glitter lantern scenes. And again, it's all about the story. Mm -hmm. We've got two different trick or treats. We have one with a white skin tone, one with the black. Uh, the black is already getting very limited. You then have, I'm sorry, my favorite, the barn. Okay. <laughs> how, how I, I was gonna, I was gonna put that out there, but I, re I realized I, w I went. America knows your love for farm, barn, trucks, and all well, things country. The barn is where my wife sends me when I say something <laughs> stupid. Okay, I spend oh. a lot of time in the barn. Oh, Dan, I, it's just my comfort place. Well, and then, yes. then you also brought to that. us a scarecrow, which I thought was magic it isn't it aren't these just adorable look at that look at that we've got a little turkey we've got our sunflowers we have our pumpkins and they just they couldn't be cuter i love their little dungarees we yeah. dressed them in dungarees and orange <coughs> orange tops as Cute. much as you like to decorate you know how it feels at the end of the christmas holidays when we're we're rolling into end of january or february where the nights are forever, the days are too short, it's cold, and then all the fun and brightness of those holiday decorations, you, you take down and strip away from the house, and it feels empty. A little drab. Well, yep. the gl glorious thing about this is because harvest is August, September, October, November, you could literally have that fun of sparkle and joy now between your, your harvest and your Christmas for half a year. I love For that. Half a year. I love that length of enjoyment. I think is so important. And whether you're doing the red barn and the green truck and that country scene, or whether you love scarecrows and how they really are part of that pumpkin patch experience yep. for fall, or yep. you love Halloween and the trick or treaters and the trick or treating scene with these precious little children in their costumes going house to house trick or treating with their little pumpkin pails where they're gathering their their candy, absolutely delightful. See, see I, we didn't have little plastic pumpkin pails when I was growing up. No, and my brothers and I always dressed up as hobos because that was always easy, yeah, 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 right? You yeah. could just, you know. Yeah, I got in trouble it, once for taking a pillowcase off the bed. I was going big, lots of candy. <laughs> Halloween is the only day of the year where you can knock on a complete stranger's door and ask for candy. Don't ask me how I know that, but I've been in trouble before. Yeah. <laughs> okay. so, oh, by the way, the black, the black, trick-or-treaters <laughs> absolute last call oh, so those would be gone tell us a little bit Dan. about this technology because I, I really I appreciate that you first did this at Christmas yes and it became did. this winter wonderland the glitter though adds to the atmosphere it for does. fall too I think it brings the it brings the sparkle so the illumination uh, captures the, the, the glitter captures the light of the illumination and just makes the scenes dance. So typically, these would have had snow in them. Right. But because we're doing this beautiful fallscape, yeah. that golden glitter was the right thing to put inside. There's a fan in the bottom, and run it's by all the, the way batteries, around. This all the way around. 60 degrees. Three C batteries oh, oh, and a six hour timer. Over 1,200 have already been ordered. Now, here's the thing that blew me away. And this is why I love hosting these shows, because uh, out of all the things you do well, Valerie is not good at tooting her own horn. She just, you're too humble. Everything inside of these pieces is hand painted. So it's the pumpkins in the little metal truck are done individually. That barn, and it, you did an incredible job of Trump Loy. Don't you, don't you, don't you love the, the hay, getting the hayloft right, getting the cupola yeah. on top of the barn right, the barn doors. Look at the little angle where you have the little run-in shed to the side of the barn. Look at the tree. The tree. And there's a window on the back because when you say you Look. spin it around and it's 360, it is 360. You can appreciate it from every side. Look at that gorgeous fall tree. Oh, I missed, I missed the, the pumpkin tree. on the, 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 the workbench the until just now. Pumpkin on the workbench, the beautiful fall tree. Look at the deep detail in the trunk of the tree. Look at the Amazing. silo, the each brick. I mean, the details here, every time you look, you may very well see something you didn't see the last time you looked. These are magical. They capture the harvest season so beautifully. I love the barn. I love it. I love it. Halloween has always been a fun day at our house. Our boys enjoyed trick-or-treating. I enjoyed trick-or-treating as my, with my brothers are, growing are you, up. Are you into scary movies, though? 
I, I am not into scary no. movies. I, I don't no. need a movie to get scared, no. so why, why would I go there? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I'm the same way. I, I, I'm a grown adult. <laughs> I, I, I sleep with both feet firmly under the covers. My wife likes to sleep with one foot sticking out. I keep telling her, that's where the monsters are. <laughs> Under the bed. What are you doing? Oh, that's where the monsters that's live. It, that's it. So okay. these are just delightful. And I love that we have three different scenes for you to yeah. choose from. Uh, from the trick-or-treat to that beautiful... This just captures the country setting the, so The barn has been the most popular. With the barn. You put I that together it. with the Today's Special Value. Oh. And that by itself, again... It's all about telling a story, creating a feeling. It is. It is. And I love the trick-or-treat scene with our purple Today Special uh, Starry Night Hurricanes. Yep. Because she has, let's walk back there. She, sure. uh, the sweet little girl in this scene, she's dressed up with butterfly wings. So she has a butterfly nice. costume. We have a pirate costume. Uh, I love the characters. And she has a little butterfly outfit with a lavender dress that ties in so perfectly. Because you know, Halloween loves purple. At Halloween what, at, at loves At what age couple. is trick-or-treating considered creepy? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you can you know, drive yourself to trick-or-treat, that's probably uh, There's an age at which you get to go with your children. Yeah, then there's yeah. an age at which you get to go with your grandchildren, Dan. <laughs> yes. So you're, you're, are, are you ever really too old to participate no, in no. some way? Uh, I, I love seeing the joy on little kids' faces. All right. They do. They do. It, it's it's such a fun uh, holiday. From it can be a family experience. Our neighbors, uh, and where in, in our neighborhood would always have everyone over for donuts and hot cider after you nice. trick or treat. You know, nice. and their house was always decorated to the nines. Just in, they they folks yeah. love decorating for Halloween. You know me. I'm not I'm not a believer in conspiracy theories, but I still think the whole trick or treating thing was started by a dentist. <laughs> <laughs> Just to drum up business. Oh, Dan, come with me. Come with me. Come <laughs> Where with are we me. Going? Where we're going to come over here you. to the kids' table. We're going to check in with Betty while hey, we're Betty. over here. How what are, are they we saying? doing? What are they saying? Everyone is just loving the today's special value. Yep. Wonderful. Talking about which colors they've, they've selected and how they're going to decorate with them. No exact questions regarding the TSV. Just, Great. just loving it. Just enjoying it and loving all of the harvest decor. Just keep reminding okay. them not to wait on this stuff. Um, you know, and I don't want to be high pressure, but if you just put it in your shopping cart and you don't check out, there's a chance that it's, it's going to revert back to inventory and somebody else is going to grab it. And what we've got, anything that you see here, if it sells out, the likelihood of getting it back in between now and the actual beginning of fall well, is slim to none. Well, next year. Next year. It, it, could, right. be, it could be back. Yep. Here's your truck. I love it. This is the Dan Hughes truck. Thank love you. it. And look what we parked in the back. Nice. In the, in the, the Trick right? or treaters. There we are. Trick or treaters. Our little, how, how, oh, we have all kinds of goodies coming up. Our yeah. little light up uh, jack o' lanterns. And again, layering it in with the purple for that pop. And of I love purple. your set of three pumpkins. Aren't these fun? Let's say the word boo. boo. Yeah. And then after, after Halloween, Just you do around. this. There you go. Love that. So you have them for the season, you have them for Halloween, and then you turn them back around again and to enjoy them through Thanksgiving. That is beautiful. So these glitter lanterns, I just have think I think have captured so many of uh, of us in our desire to just, like you said, Dan. There's a story. There's a story yep. to be told in every lantern, uh, and uh, some of it captures our, our childhood memories, and some of them are memories we're about can, to can, make. Can, can I share a story with you? I'd love it. Halloween inspired my first ever job. Did it? Well, now, tell this, me, this tell was, me what it this was. This was an uh, entrepreneurial business venture between me and my older brother. Uh, my older brother, who I adore, remarkably has never spent time incarcerated. Uh, he came up with an idea to sell pumpkin insurance for Halloween. We would go around the neighborhood and for a dollar, we, we were the insurance. If someone came and smashed your pumpkin, all they did was call us and we would go out and clean it up. Sounds pretty good, right? It does. Business was slow. But after, after a couple threatening pumpkin smashings that happened to have in our neighborhood, uh, business, business was drummed up. I think we made like $15 that year. Wow. Do you remember how much fifteen dollars was when you were a kid? Back in the day, that was a lot. It was a lot. That was a lot back it was in the a day. Lot. We're dating ourselves, yeah. but 
that was a lot. I'm dating me. You're no, a lot younger than I am. No, that's not true. Anyway, these are delightful, whimsical touches that you'll grace your harvest home with from now, as Dan said, all the way through Thanksgiving. Easily. Love that. So your choices are the trick-or-treat, which you're looking at and, right and, now. And the trick-or-treat, again, you have two skin tones. We have white and black. Black is exceptionally limited. I think there's a handful left, and they will be gone, and they'll be gone until next year. That's so. correct. That's correct. We will not be able to. Um, actually, there isn't anything we're presenting today that we'll be able to bring bring back, bring in more of. I love the scarecrows. Aren't the don't? What is it about scarecrows and the pumpkin patch? I remember going to the pumpkin patch uh, with my boys. It was always a field trip, and I loved you know going along. It was a, a just a fun memory, and uh, they always had a scarecrow you know yep. at the pumpkin patch to protect the corn and w uh, the other. Um, the other crops. Well, I think the scarecrow from the Wizard of Oz made scarecrows famous forever. Uh, isn't that true? How could you not love is, that guy? Isn't that true? Yeah. Yes. Yes. And then, of course, that country scene with a barn, the green truck, uh, pumpkins in the back, and uh, just a, a quintessential country scene. Over 3,000 have been spoken for. Uh, pick up your your uh, three C-cell batteries. Yes. That's going to be enough, That's by right. the way, for the mm -hmm. entire autumn season. Yes, three C. Mm -hmm. and, and just enjoy. Uh, you'll find yourself staring into it uh, like like we used to stare at the TV screen. Enjoy. Hey, come on over here. I, I, oh. This coffee table, everybody's commenting on it already. There are two versions of it. You did the one that we see here in black.